Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a photo friendly makeup look. This look is really good for prom or graduation or any type of event where you're gonna be taking flash photography. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm first using the Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette. This is the palette that Wet n Wild recently came out with. They have like six different versions of this palette and it is amazing. The pigment is there and y'all, this palette is only $5, okay? So I'm first going in with that transition shade and just applying that in the crease. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use that cranberry shade and apply this in the crease as well. Just making sure everything is nice and blended. When you go to take a picture, you're gonna be able to see that it's not blended. So make sure you just take your time, really focus and make sure that you don't have any harsh lines because that camera girl is gonna pick it up, okay? So we're just using that cranberry shade and blending that back and forth. And then we're gonna be taking that black shade and putting that in the outer V of our eye. So this look is really good for photographs because it has kind of like that contrast where the outside of your eye is darker and then the inner portion is lighter and then before we went in with our lid shade we definitely applied concealer because that just allowed for our lid shade to pop so this is a really good way like a good technique for you to do if you're going to graduation or senior pictures or prom or even a wedding is to just have like that dark outer V and then go in with a super light lid color because it just makes it really nice in photographs and really just opens up your eyes. So I always go in with some type of liquid liner and apply this on the very like lash line of my eye just because this will look good whenever I apply my lashes. If not, I feel like my lashes don't look natural. You know, they just don't look good. They look like they're sitting on top of my eye instead of just kind of, you know, blending in with my natural lashes. So I feel like adding some liner will define your eye and then also make your lashes look a lot better. And then also I'm just applying some mascara because later we'll apply false lashes. So for primer, y'all already know, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Pro Lock Primer. I've been obsessed with this thing. This is a drugstore product. So if you like glowy skin, I definitely recommend this. It is a little bit on the expensive side. It's like $13 and I know that can be high for drugstore, but it is a really, really good primer. And then for foundation, I kept it pretty affordable. $5.99, girl, for this Maybelline Fit Me. It is amazing. I think this is awesome. Um, I have never experienced any flashback with this. I've never experienced any like white cast, nothing crazy, you know, so I definitely recommend this foundation and it's $6, you can't beat that. If you are doing your own makeup for prom or for graduation, definitely, definitely check this foundation out because it's super cheap and Again, you guys will see that I will use this to contour as well. So it's just a very versatile foundation. And with your foundation, when you're taking flash photography photos, you wanna make sure that you are blending, girl, down your neck, into your hairline, everywhere, okay? So now we're moving on to concealer and we're gonna be using the Flower Beauty Concealer and the Wet n Wild Concealer. So the Flower Beauty Concealer is really nice. It's full coverage, that's why I like it so much. But the Wet n Wild Concealer is a lot more accessible. You have it at Dollar General, at Walgreens. So I wanted to use both, that way you guys have two options. Again, that Wet n Wild Concealer, $3.99. So here you are with the full face of makeup for what, $10? Okay, so don't feel bad if you have to do your own prom makeup or your own graduation makeup because I did and I was still popping. Okay, so now we're just blending all of that out and just applying that on our face. And um, I skipped this part because like y'all don't want to see me blend out my highlight like that's boring. <laughs> so now we're again, so this is what I was talking about whenever I was doing the contour. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me, it's just in a darker shade. So contour, highlight, it's all the same. You could use foundation, you can use concealer, whatever you want, as long as you're using the correct shade. So here I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I wanna say this is in like 350, 
um, I have it listed down below, but beautiful. It just came out beautiful, like using this foundation as my contour. I really, really liked how this looked. Now to set all that, we're using the LA Girl Pro Yellow Setting Powder. I think this is really gonna help with the longevity of your makeup. It's just making sure to set everything. So I'm using this powder to set everywhere where I applied highlighter, and then I will use a bronzer, which this is from LA Minerals, LA Color Minerals. LA Colors Mineral Powder, that's what it is. And I'm using that as my bronzer. So I'm just reinforcing all of the cream products that we used with powder so this is going to help with everything lasting a very long time and you don't have nothing slipping and sliding throughout the day and it just looks really really good when you take these steps so i've never had a problem with la girl giving me flash black and that is a five dollar powder so definitely recommend it and then they also sell la girl in ulta and also in the hair stores now so it's very accessible and i really really love this powder five dollars you can't beat that Now going back up under the eyes, I'm using that same kind of cranberry purple shade we used. I'm not using any eyeliner because I feel like when I use eyeliner, my eye kind of gets smaller and I want my eyes to look nice and big. So I'm just taking a little bit of eyeshadow and running that down. And I just like that look overall lately. I haven't really been putting black eyeliner under my eyes. And for blush, we're using the e.l.f blush palette this is the four quad um, I have the light one and also the medium dark one I like both of them I think they're both really really good and then for highlighter we're gonna be using the Maybelline master gold highlighter I have seen this in Ulta and I have seen this in Walgreens now we're just lining our lips and then I'm going in with one of these Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. They have great formulas, but I just didn't want my lips to be too dark. So I put a little bit on and then I just blended it out with a lip brush. And then I went in with this like random LA Colors lip gloss just to have a little bit of gloss, you know? And then, yeah, that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love this look. I feel like I didn't know what I was gonna do whenever I first started, but it ended up coming out really good. So I really like it. And I think this is like perfect for any type of like flash photography, you know, just something simple. It's nothing too crazy, but I love it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.